Okay, I just want to address something real quick. In case you're actually watching my YouTube channel, as I referred to the last part as part six, um, and I'm referring to this as part seven, if you get a box from me, I actually have now it will be an eight-part video user manual on how to set up from unplugging to setting your wireless internet up to, you know, doing everything you need to do to watching, you know, to be able to watch movie and TV shows. So that's why the part seven and part eight is, is or part, I'm sorry, part six and part seven is crucial. There is no part eight. Forget about that. Okay. So when you fire up your Android TV box, and again, this is not for Fire Stick users because everything you have to do through Fire Stick is web-based. So it's possible, but you really have to know what you're doing. I'm talking specifically to my usandroidtv.com customers and other people that would happen to have an Android t uh, streaming TV box. So you fire up your screen. It may look like this. It may look a little bit different. doesn't really matter. What you want to do is, is you want to go into Kodi. So we're going to go ahead and launch Kodi. And I'm actually going to make a Part 8 video. Uh, that's why I subconsciously said it earlier. I'm going to mute the sound so I can talk. Um, the next video that I'm going to do is, because it, it seems to be important, is uh, updating the uh, actual Kodi application. Because within the Kodi 17 Krypton that we're running, um, we're already on 17.4. And two months ago, or not even, we were on 17.3, so it seems like every month or two, uh, the Kodi team is updating their software, which, you know, they are doing a brilliant job, by the way, as an open source media platform. Um, they are an excellent, excellent, uh, you know, provider for that. So we're simply waiting for, you know, it to boot up and for it to launch. And what I always look for is that. And that's what I was referring to earlier. If you're one of my customers, a usandroidtv.com customer, you know, you may have these, you may not have these. Uh, the first one to always go out was TV shows, um, you know, and, you know, you would have that. It would stay on movies for a while, and then it would go blank. You'd have a blank screen. As you can see now, I've got TV shows because I've already went ahead a little bit and put in the API key, but I'm going to show you how to do that. More importantly, whether you're on movies or you're on TV shows, if you hit OK on my build, the usandroidtv.com build, you're going to be going into the add-on Elysium, like I said earlier. And I know there's other builders that are out there that have um, Elysium as their main because they're a really good add-on. Uh, but now I'm able to search uh, TV shows and movies, and it's all successful, all thanks to the API key. So the question is, well, how do I put in the API key? This is where it's going to vary if you're not a usandroidtv.com customer. But however you do it, you want to get to your video add-ons, and then you want to get to Elysium. So for my customers, it's as simple as scrolling either left or right until you get to collections. If you scroll right, it's quicker. It's four clicks to the right, and then you're on collections. Um, so, you know, again, you don't need to wait for the collections widgets or these boxes to pop up and change if you don't want to. I don't try to overwork my box, even though this is a H96 Pro Plus box. It still takes a little bit of time to load. But once everything's there, you're simply going to, on again, on the usandroidtv.com build, you're going to scroll down, and then you're going to scroll over to watch more. Now, that's the same thing as anybody else's build where it takes you basically to your add-ons and then your video add-ons. That's what's important. So we're simply going to scroll down to Elysium. We're going to hit OK. And then we're going to, once that, that next box pulls up, if you can read it, it says Configure. Well, I want to show you something real quick. I know I always run long on videos, guys, and I'm really, I'm really sorry. But, you know, right here is the change log. So on the last update, you know, all they did was they put in a new API key and they say, please get your own, might become mandatory in the near future. But it already has become mandatory because the last time they did an update was August 28th of 2017. So on with the show. We're going to go up to configure, which basically if you open Elysium under your video add-ons, it should highlight on configure, but that's where we want to go and then we click OK. From there, it pulls up another box, Settings-Elysium. 
we're going to scroll over right to to accounts and as you can see if you scroll down to there is a TMDB API key slot so I'm simply going to scroll down to that now the first time you do it this will be blank this will have nothing on it at all so I'm going to hit OK and then the number that was on the computer that you have whether you have your better half read it over to you or whether you you know write it down or whatever make sure it's accurate please so make sure this entire strand is 100 percent accurate with what's on your computer or it will not work so once you scroll around and type everything in and it's perfect and i again perfect is the word i'm going to click done and done's going to take me back and now you will see your code right there so you scroll down to ok and then if you want to hit your back arrow to go back to the main screens you hit your back arrow once twice and then you're back to collections again so you can go back to your movies and your TV shows and your movies and your TV shows let's let's show TV shows because if you're a customer of mine you know what I'm talking about where this doesn't exist anymore you know your popular or your featured TV shows are gone and once you put in that key code there it will be you will have TV shows and you'll be good to go so that's really it on this part of the video again the last one was getting the TMDP TMDB API hard to say code and this one was inputting it into your Cody my next part which is going to be my my final part on my user manual is going to be how to update your Cody the easiest way to do it so that you always have the most recent version of Cody running and you don't get that warning you know telling you that using an old version of stable while a new version of stable is out is not recommended so I'm going to go ahead and close this video. Again, thank you for watching. If you're on the YouTube channel and you have a question, leave a comment. I always answer as quickly as I can. Please subscribe or share this video if it helps anybody. Because, again, I'm not in this for money. I'm in this to help people. And, you know, this technology is absolutely the best, in my opinion. So, again, I'm going to conclude. Thanks for watching the video. And I will catch you on the final part eight video, which is how to update your Kodi if you have. Android streaming TV box. So until next time, YouTubers, we'll catch you.